I'm gonna make them real bushy and real mean, like like at the same angle as these eyebrows and this in this expression. You see what I'm saying? Then I come over here, watch, and I put my nose shape like you know what I mean. Let me see. Something like that, and then I come with the eyes like this. And then I put his glasses like he got in the picture. Because I'm going to go to the secondary elements to make him look like him. Okay? My secondary features. And then I can do, I can do whatever I want. He got a long drop right here. So if I if I if I do that in this picture and then I come here with this shape here, he has a small mouth. So I'm gonna do something like this here. Okay. And then I just use the same exact teeth or whatever in the picture, right? And then now all I got to do is just come back and fill in his the features around the the uh the mouth right here, all right? Okay. Something like that. Right. And then I can come up here and do this right here. He got a, it's pretty round, so all I gotta do is make sure it's round. Have a little piece coming off of here. You see how we were able to make a whole, we was able to use this same exact expression, right, to get our guy in there. So that one was worked out pretty well. Okay, let me see here. Actually, let me downsize this just a bit because it's all the way in my screen and I can't see my thing in there. All right, so y'all can be able to see the face a little bit more, okay? So again, I took this face above and then I incorporated it in. So I wanted it to be what my person felt like. And then I go for the secondary features. My secondary features are gonna be things like uh, eyebrows, uh, nose shapes, right? I'm depending on other things because this is not drawn exactly like the picture. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put everything around it to clue you in on who I'm actually drawing. You get what I mean? So that's uh, kind of how you approach this kind of. And this is how a good caricaturist will approach their drawings. And it took me a while to learn that um, because my sometimes when I first started, my drawings seemed to be a little bit portraity. You know what I mean? So now, what when I understand how to do this, I don't have to. I know I'm not confined to just making it look exactly like the person in the picture. You know what I mean? I can do whatever I want. If I want to take this guy right here, and let's just put this one away, and we're going to just build our emotion first, okay? So I can do anything I want. Let's go here, and let's find, uh, let's do, uh, hmm, let me see. We can find either one. Let's say, uh, say we want to do this one. Okay. This guy, this big, this amazed look right here. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, well, when you're amazed, your eyebrows kind of go up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my eyebrows go up, right? And then I'm going to have my, my eyes here doing this number here, just like normal. Okay. And then I just do something like that, right? So... That's, these are what I'm saying on his eyes. Now, I want to get that nose shape in there. So, I really want to get my details kind of right on that. The roundness, right? 
and then you'll see here this part coming down so once I get there okay then I do he has a small smile right or god dog I meant to do the uh, I meant to do the mouth as it was inside of the picture but uh, and I might still be able to get away with it let me see let's just do it like this okay like that okay no big deal okay so now what I want to do is I want to come over here and add the secondary features in okay that's going to clue you in on what it is I'm trying to do I'm gonna thicken the eyebrows up right okay I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna give them that that deep brow arch and then I'm gonna come over here keep everything kind of round you see okay and you can see all this right here is going to be kind of colored in right then you got your ear shape okay and then you got this and it kind of comes around right All right. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, is it circus music? <laughs> no, not quite. Okay. So you see how we took we took this expression, right? Amazed, and then we put it in here. I could have really went with more of an O shape, but you know what I mean. I was just trying to get away. I didn't think about it until I was already halfway done with the picture. But anyway, you can see how I took the basic head shape, right? So we're looking at for these when you use these, you want to make sure your head shape is on point. Anytime you're changing the way the eyes look in real life. And you go into a more cartoon thing so you'll go with the cartoon kind of eye which is a generalized uh, expression of the eye when it's doing something and then you want to try to make things fit around it so you can see i got a good head shape here um i got the the, the light colored eyes so you see how i concentrated on how his eyes are very light colored i also went with brows here so i made sure that the brows is on point okay and then uh, obviously our beard shape right okay and then you got the earrings and the ears so all these things are just like secondary features that i'm using to help me to build my cartoon so that i don't have to draw this guy just as he is in this posing stance you know what i mean because those are very hard targets to to hit you know when you can't when you're when it's kind of like somebody forcing you to say something about somebody you don't really want to say so that's the thing with that, having the emotion you get to put whatever emotion your character is feeling you get to put that in your actual uh, uh drawing okay hey guys i hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial if you did don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also, guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.